Right, in this video I want to show you how I made up this pin chuck assembly to be used on the ES121 or ES120 motion control electronic screwdriver. I made this pin chuck up out of an old Dremel tool that was burned out. I used the spindle, sawed it off and then made the components on the Chinese mini lathe to actually make this tool up. It can have the Dremel type chuck or you can use it with the collet chuck. And if you haven't got an old uh, burned out Dremel or any other um, actual rotary tool like that, you can actually buy small chuck assemblies like this on Banggood in which you could actually make a very similar tool up. And a pin chuck like this on a screwdriver like this one here is a very useful tool for very fine drilling work like I've just shown and now I'm going to show you the basic operations I used on the Chinese mini lathe to actually make this adapter up. Right to start with I'm going to turn down one of the bits uh, about 14 millimeter and just take off the hexagon. So that's cleaned up all the way round. And now I have the sawn off um, Dremel spindle end. And now I've pulled it out from the jaws a little bit and clocked it in and it's running within a thou and now I'm going to just do a centre spot on it.
So that was the basic operations to make this pin chuck assembly up. I didn't show it all on the boring. When the spindle pushes into this one it goes up roughly around halfway and then this end here is bored out down to that bore so that when it goes onto the screwdriver it actually goes over the collar here. So put the bit in that goes down over the collar and gives it a bit more stability because those uh, bits tend to wobble about in the actual um, screwdriver and when you're making it you have to make sure that you get the depths correct on the actual um, bit here so that when it goes down into the screwdriver it actually makes contact with the magnet otherwise when you drill through something you go to pull it back out again it will actually pull the um, pin chuck off the end of the screwdriver so that's the only thing you have to watch for and it's relatively easy to make up if you um, follow those guidelines and the hole that I was drilling with the tool post drill was 1 8 diameter and this is uh, one of the um, Dremel bits which is 1 8 diameter and I use one of those as a pin to push into that one and then I can actually use a spanner or whatever to undo the chuck or the collet chuck so I can actually hold that spindle inside there like that as I actually tighten that one up and that's about it